What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Mega Minion Mel from Despicable Me 4. Let's start off today's lesson in the center of the page and draw a large circle for the eye. We're going to start at the very top of the middle, come all the way around toward the bottom, and then pull that back up towards the top. Let's trace that circle along the inside, so we're going to leave a trim going all the way around. And then along the top, we're going to add that small detail. Leaving a gap in the center, let's draw two lines going up past the top of our circle. And I'll flatten off the top. Let's add that metal clasp along the side. So in the center, we're going to step up, draw a short line going out. Let's line that up on the right. Come down the side. And we'll pull that back in. Let's layer the strap in behind. From the top corner, we step down, draw a straight line going all the way out toward the side of the head. From the bottom corner, step up, draw another line. Just going to line this up. And I'll flatten off the ends. Now in the center of the strap, we're going to draw a straight line coming in towards the side of our circle. Let's layer the top of the head in behind that strap. From the corner, we're gonna step in, go up, round up the center of the head, come across, and then down on the right side. Now you wanna line up the side of the head underneath the strap, draw a straight line coming all the way down toward the bottom of the hip, and then line it up on the right side. Let's connect the hips with a curve. We're gonna come down in the middle, round this out, and bend that up towards the right. Now you're going to draw the opening around the mouth, just underneath the eye, right in the middle. And bend this out toward the left, and then come down. Go back up to the top, just going to round this out, and then come down toward the same height. Let's round out the bottom. Down, and then up. Let's go all the way up to the top and draw a small circle for the mouth. Draw a straight line going across from the top row of teeth. Separate the teeth with a straight line. Show the bottom of the mouth in black. Now just underneath the mouth, we're going to add a small curve for the lower lip. Now just underneath this opening, we're going to step down and add a curve. Coming down and then up. On the ends, draw a straight angle line going up and out across the top of the straps. Let's go back down to the bottom, just going to flatten off the strap, draw another straight line going up and out. Let's add a small button along the bottom with a circle. From the bottom corner of the strap, we're just going to bend the pant, coming down and then out toward the side. Let's add that pocket in the center. Start with a straight line going across. Close off the bottom, coming down, and then up. Let's add a small circle in the center, and we'll fill that in black. Now I want to tuck the legs in underneath the body, leaving a gap in the center. Let's start on the left side, bend the leg going out and down, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's round out the bottom of the leg, coming down and up. And I'll follow that same curve, going up and in underneath the body. On the base of the leg, we're going to wrap an oval, going all the way around, and then tuck that in on the inside. From the inside of the oval, bend the foot, going out and then down towards the heels. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down and then up. Go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. We're going to go up, round this out, and then bend that down. Now from the outside of the cuff, we're going to bend this in and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up, bend this in towards the heel, and then on the right from heel to toe. 
Now we're gonna go back up to the side and draw on the arm. Let's start just beneath the strap and bend the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. And then we'll line that up on the right. Now just like we did with the legs, we're just gonna round up the base of the arm, going up. Let's follow that same curve going up and then in towards the side of the body. Let's wrap that oval around the base of the wrist, going all the way around and then in. From the inside of the cuff, draw a straight angle line coming down toward the thumb. And then on the end, we draw a half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with the bracket. Now we're going to wrap three fingers along the bottom. Start underneath the thumb, come around and up around that bracket. Go to the side, add the second finger going out, and then in. And then the third finger going to go all the way around and then in toward the outside of the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the thumb, add the second finger, and then the third finger coming around. Now the last thing we need to do is just close off the outside of the wrist. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how I draw Mega Minion Mel from Despicable Me 4. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.